Okay, so this demonstration is quite an impressive reaction uh, between magnesium and uh, um, silicon dioxide, which is basically just sand. The reduction of sand using magnesium, um, you've probably done demonstrations using magnesium as a reductant before. Um, but we found this one really interesting because it was taking silica and getting it to form silicon, which the students perhaps hadn't seen much of. I've got a test tube, it's a Pyrex test tube here. Um, and it's been filled with a mixture of sand and magnesium powder. Um, we've set this up in the fume hood. Obviously, um, you can see by the way the test tube has ended up, it's quite an exothermic reaction and we've ended up melting the test tube. It's quite simple in the end. We put about 5 grams of magnesium powder and about 7.5 grams of silica, just normal dry sand. You know, mix it up a bit so it was a good mixture and then poured it into a, a, a Pyrex tube, a really good, quali really good quality um, glass tube. You would do this all in the fume cupboard. Um, you would put this uh, on a stand, clamp to a stand, and then you need to quite high heat, so you need to use something like a Mika burner to get it to those high temperatures. It takes quite a while. It's not a quick one, unfortunately. So, you know, and here you're talking to your students about other things, perhaps talking about the reaction. Because what will happen is, hopefully, in about four or five minutes, you'll see it's starting to glow at the bottom first and then it's quite a fascinating if the glow sort of moves up the tube you get a really bright exothermic orange glow as it goes up the tube take the mega burner away let it cool down and after and once it's cooled down um, you know it shouldn't take more than a few minutes you'll get to see this beautiful looking um, like a silvery sort of metallic silicon um, mirror that's formed. What happens there is the magnesium is oxidised and the silicon um, from silicon dioxide or the sand is reduced and we end up seeing a bit of a glossy sheen um, around the surface there which is uh, from the silicon. Um, it probably won't be very mirror-like because it'll be all bubbly and such and you can see even this example here the tube has become quite bent um, such was the intensity of the, the heat that was, um, was generated from the reaction. I have to say it's a little temperamental, it's hard to predict when it's going to start glowing. Sometimes what might happen is if it, if it doesn't get heated to a high enough temperature, you might want to light some pieces of magnesium and throw that in, a, in the top of it and hopefully that can again generate some heat and get the reaction started from the top. So temperamental, but if you get it right, it looks a great little result.